In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can play Fortnite on your Mac. As of recording this video, Fortnite is no longer available on the Mac, as Epic Games is currently in a dispute with Apple, so we are going to need to find an alternative way to play Fortnite on our Mac. So to get around this, we need to use a cloud gaming service to be able to stream playing Fortnite on our Mac. The cloud gaming service we are going to be using today is called GeForce Now because they offer a free tier unlike other alternatives, and I will leave a link to this website in the description. So once you're on the GeForce Now website, you want to scroll down and you want to click on join now. And then you want to find the membership tiers. And as you can see, they do offer a free tier with a one hour session length. However, you can simply restart that session length to get another hour. And you can do this as many times as you'd like. So once you're ready, you want to click on the join button next to the free tier. And then you want to simply sign up for an NVIDIA GeForce account. So once you've signed up for an NVIDIA GeForce account, you want to go back to the home page we was at earlier. And then we need to go ahead and download the platform. To do this, you want to click on the download option at the very top. And once you're at your download page, you want to scroll down and you want to find the macOS platform and you want to click on download just underneath it. From here, you want to choose where you want to download the installer. In this case, I'm going to choose my downloads folder. So now we have GeForce now downloaded, we just need to go ahead and install it. To do this, you want to find the installer that you downloaded earlier and you want to open it up. And from here, we just need to simply drag and drop the NVIDIA GeForce now logo into the applications folder. And after a few seconds, this will be installed. Once it has been installed, you can exit out of the installer and you can go ahead and delete it if you'd like to do so. And don't forget to eject it from your macOS system. So now we have GeForce now downloaded, we can go ahead and open up the application. And because it's a new application, you will get this prompt. So you want to click on open. And once the application opens up, it will look like this. All we need to do is click on the green get in button. And this is going to open our web browser and it's going to prompt us to log into our GeForce accounts that we created earlier. So once you've logged into your GeForce Now account, you'll be taken to the dashboard which looks like this. All we need to do now is to connect our Epic Games account to our GeForce Now account so we can play Fortnite. To do this, you want to click on the settings icon in the top left hand corner and then you want to click into the settings. Once you're in the settings, you'll see all of your connected accounts on the right hand side. And as you can see, I've already connected my Steam account so I can play my Steam games. However, we want to connect our Epic Games account. So to do this, you want to click on the Connects button. And it's going to automatically open your web browser to the Epic Games website, where you want to go ahead and sign into your Epic Games account. If you don't have one already, you can scroll down and click on Create Account. Once you've signed in, it's going to ask you for permission, so you want to click on Allow. And once you've signed in, you can exit out of your web browser and you can go back to the GeForce Now application. And as you can see, we are now fully signed into our Epic Games account. So to play Fortnite on our Mac, you want to go back to the home page by going to the hamburger menu. And all you need to do now is click on the search bar at the very top, and then you want to type in Fortnite. And once you've searched for it, it should be the first result. So you want to click into it. You want to click on mark as owned. It's going to give you this prompt. So you want to click on yes, continue. And now we've marked Fortnite as owned, we can go ahead and play it by clicking on the play button. After a few seconds, it's going to analyze your network to see if it supports playing games over the internet. And after a few seconds, once this has been successful, it's going to put you in a queue. And as you can see, I'm currently in a queue of 21. And as you can see, we are finished queuing and we are now loading into Fortnite. And this took about three minutes, but waiting times can vary. And as you can see, we are now playing Fortnite on the Mac and we can start playing it just as we normally would. So if this video is helpful, please leave a like. And if you have any questions or comments, you can leave them below.